This is a promising start. I lied. I very much lied. I'll just take the duplicate even though like that's really bad. Both of these are really strong. Uh, Blue Dream's kind of a meme though. So let's take Velgefortz. I guess Sigurd Reef already has two targets. Fine, we can pick it up. Uh, this is the better card. So it's Heim or Blue Dream. I like Heim. I like Blue Dream. We have a way of killing cards right now, so that's fair. Another... Uh, Moran's technically stronger. Fine, I'll take Moran. Ouch. Real good. Take the 11, that could be res to be a 13. That's a 16 then. That's pretty good. Uh, Skellen or... Hmm. I think Skellen can buff this. I don't have that many golds. We can Asir the Roach back, so Asir is already really good. Marching Others was okay. But since it hits this, it's, it's locked at the beginning. So it's this or this. This has no spy, so let's just take this boy. No Witchers, as far as I'm aware, right? Currently got no Witchers, so this is like a 15. This is worthless. I think Zertesius is... I'll actually take Foltus Sprite. Mm, Ermion's not good. Eskel's okay. We don't really have a spell currently. So this is bad and this is garbage. So let's just take the Eskel. If it versus Foltus, I'll be very, very sad. Another Blue Dream. Vesemir doesn't have targets. Yorvath just a 14. Because we, we have one elf. Okay? We have one elf. Vabjorn's a 13 instead of a 14. At minimum value. If we do any kind of damage to something, we can kill it off. Or we take another blue dream. I guess we just take another blue dream, fine. Vilkinesis is okay. This is kind of bad. I think we take the Karanthir. Vilkinesis would be okay if I had already picked up like a winch here. Mulligan boy should be... Eh, no, this is probably stronger. Another Sigurd Reef is a bit riskier. We've got three cards we can res with it. I think I'll take Marvud instead. Sure. Take the third one. They can strengthen each other. Or I can play this and strengthen three times. X day. Spotter with Alchemist? Only one synergy, I'd rather not. Take the 11. Abaya. And... Oh. Iced is a 17. Dagon's kind of... Red of it's a 14. Plus two locks. Should be better than Iced. Though Iced immediately gives me a res target. I think it's fine. Take the red of it. If I had taken the second sig, I would take iced. Too long have we tolerated weak, sniffling emperors. I currently have a cup of cup of coffee and a cup of um Earl Grey right in front of me. So I could play this boy and then just strengthen it repeatedly. Mm. Or this boy. This is the best one to res. I'll toss that. It's not a great card. Honestly, this is a pretty, fairly good hand. Now we don't have any... Should I say proactive plays? Mm. If he passes, we cry. I'm just gonna assume he doesn't know how to pass. And uh, let me load up my Gwent up. 
I would have loved to go second. A lot like the cards I want to play first are proactive. So I want to play this first and strengthen it twice. I exist because Master Dehenna wills it so. We're just looking to use our bronzes here while staying ahead and then at some point passing. If he plays any carryover, we'll just lock it and that's not really a problem. Mm. Shield, eh? A combo already. Intriguing. We've got some good golds in our hand, that's really good. He hasn't played Foltest, so Eskel's gonna find value. Really? That's uh, it's quite strong. If he's got a shiny for this, I'll be I'll be quite quite uh, sad. Quite sad. That's fair. No scorch effect here, killing me. So that's fine. We didn't play into Gigni. We did play into White Frost by playing the first two things into Midrow instead of back and front. But I think it's fair. It's fine. If we can play 11 points and stay ahead, like... I do not if he plays something, I play 11 and we're still ahead, I'm, I'll be very happy. Billion barrels are burning. 11 plus 4 armor. Pretty pretty good card currently. It'll be seven point, 17 points when resurrected. Ah, perfect. Now we're looking for just to, to draw our golds here. He hasn't played a gold yet, so our blue dream might be something we're looking to toss away in round three. But for now, I think we can just continue playing as we have and keep the card. We've got a few ways we can kill his golds. We've got Red of it if it's a small one. We've got Ida, and then we've also got Saltkirk. Now we knew we'd draw this card off the top of our deck, so... Somewhat unfortunate. But this might actually be a very good passing play here. Even though it's 13 compared to just an 11 or a, a 9. I think it's better to prevent any kind of extremely good draw. Mm. Let's see, what is the worst card for us here? We want him to draw Emelrith. We don't want him to play this combo. If we can afford to... You know not have it happen so let's put that at the bottom i did just remember we also have roach in our deck that's okay unlucky but we did get a sear that's that's great we actually, as I said, we actually want him to play Emilrith, so we can kill him, and then blue dream him. So I'm gonna open with a Seer. I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna put... Shield back into his deck? Sure. He shouldn't have a way to, like, get it out of his deck. Maybe a DJ? But if he had a Shani, that was 100% his target. So we want to develop this early, but I don't want to play it first, because if he does have Sabbath, then it would just die for free. So I'm going to develop something that's bigger than a 10. He hasn't found a way to buff his Sabbath yet.
We also have to find a turn to play Vilgefort. So, Ida is most like the, the most likely target for Vilgefort to hit. But, well, with how mulliganing works... Oh, actually, sorry, the Serper is. How mulliganing works, you might actually draw less and Lesser Guardian again. My folk have suffered much. Ooh, that looks like it's going to be Sabath, doesn't it? That 100% looks like it's going to be Sabath. Now right, let's just play this in the mid row. And then we're most likely just going to Salt Kirk Sabath that comes out right now as an 8. Every time. Wow. Doesn't play it first. Interesting. That's another goal. Damn. I think we actually play Vilgefortz here. It's our most proactive play, as funny as that is. Oh, Vilgefortz could have done Roach. Ooh, that's actually mm, not great. Wow. I think we can Foltest Spride this card, and then we can Red of it to kill it to enable Blue Dream, even if he does not play Sabath. I I have to imagine this Francesca pulled Sabath here. How many goals does he have? We need an Escal target. If we want to win this game. Now we do still have... And I'll be paid, I promise. There's no way that's left over, right? It is how I punish those who irritate me. Did he really not go Sabah? So he did go Sabah. So it's Eskel or Ida. I'm gonna go with Ida for fog. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. But he has two of them. Stand and fight, so this is most likely where he plays his second one, the one that's been buffed. Yep. And this is... What? Oh, he must have drawn the Sabbath. But why would he go for Nivellen instead of... I'm so confused. Oh, it's been... Ah, uh, boy. So this gets res as a 7, takes 7, then we take 6. No, we need to play this sure, first. No problem. That's so weird. Hmm. That Vilga Force is still very scary. Now we do have two different blue dreams. We could have just thought also gone for Kara Mets. Done 4 damage to everything here. Or 3 damage, I guess, to this one. An interesting choice. We'll see. Because then that Eskel could have hit something along the lines of 7 points rather than 3 points. Or maybe even more depending on what he plays here. But I'm looking for Sabath to gain, you know, 30 points here to win the round. To win the game. Sorry. You should not have come here. Good. Do takes some damage here, goes back down to 5, but he he's only has a 7 on the board. He's taking 2 more fog damage, and that... The Ruvial, we won. Okay, very close game, but we did it. I'm not sure why he didn't pull Vazimir with his leader. It would have been the, the better play. Almost always. Nivellen seemed like a very... Interesting choice. Unlucky.
We also have this in our hand, so we can't even drag it out. Uh, quite annoying yes, that we have... Mm, I'm no mage. We have no proactive plays. This is my proactive play. It's quite annoying. Have strength, my love. Okay. You can put the Sardisius at the top. I I don't think I want to do that. Ariel's been chosen. The gods speak to him. Have to realize this will kill a monster card. We only have Morvud as the biggest one. Billion barrels of burning pitch. Could Morvud this for seven? Would it would be a thirteen? Not bad. Not great. Honestly, Regis Hire Vampire might be a bad card in Arena. Its average value is around 15. So just a Geralt. And then it makes your opponent's deck better rather than worse. So that's quite, uh... Hmm. Quite interesting, wouldn't you say? This is 14 tempo. Shipmate. I don't have an Escal either here. It's gonna be a bit annoying. We might have to use Saltkirk. To kind of tempo him out here. At times nature needs a helping hand. Torrential rain is a bit of a meme. What I'll play fog. Me? Maybe he doesn't have weather clear here. He did just use one, so he might have a second one. It would be unfortunate, but oh well. Truly? We've got a fairly good Abaya here. Does he have 14 points? This is only 13 so far. This is 12. This I don't believe is enough either. I'm assuming it rounds... Uh, this might be 15 or it might be 13. Depending on if it rounds up or down. Great. Great for me. I get to toss the salt kirk, play the skeleton. That's 14 tempo, so it's completely fine. Draw the roach, of course. Um, I guess we just won't be buffing the salt kirk. The revolution is inevitable. We a could put this at the top. Now let's see. And uh, those aren't great, are they? I mean, let's say. It's potentially a 20 point play. This is currently a... Yeah, this is better actually. Because we've got... The 15 point here. 18 points with Sagrifa plus 5. So that's very strong. Very potent. Might play this for 15. That's somewhat annoying. The gate must be mm. Quite annoying, honestly. I would like to actually use Eskel here, because I don't know, you know, what what other cards we're looking for. Great. Or I should say, I don't know what other cards he's got in his hand. So if he doesn't have any more bronzes or silvers, Eskel might be dead. And he would play one here. The chance of having bronzes or silvers is low, but if he keeps Priscilla, that means he's got some kind of swarm unit, which means it's most likely going to be a, a silver. Or he's got Draugir, in which case he's really happy as well. Um, I will keep this. I am considering kicking this. 
I'll keep it. It it's gonna find some value, right? The question is, do we put anything else back into our deck? I don't think we do. Hmm, unlucky. I shall do as you command. I'll put this back into his deck. Might as well. He has something like a DJ that will be really, really bad for him. He can't play this card yet. That's a... It's not a great Saltkirk target, but... It is a target. Priscilla seems to be completely dead. As is my Esco, though. Task. Give us all you got. He actually cannot catch up with what he's got in hand. Get this, over. this is only six points. The got the Sigurd Rifa, so we need this in hand. I think we'll toss the Moran. We can toss this as well. Toss that. Seems like a solid hand. Uh, Vrahi Dragoon, not the best card, but it's okay. You've got a great Stefan onto the Salt Kirk. Slaughter them to a man. I think we can just open with this. Maybe he doesn't have a way to deal with it. Maybe no Mage Thunder here. Would be lovely. We can play Xerthisius next. The white frost and white light is nigh. I will play this actually first. We do have weather, weather clear. I'm not sure it's worth it. I think I'll actually play this. Ah, uh, that's a very... We do have a way to deal with this. Shani seems to be the strongest card. And we can't blue dream it. So definitely put this at the bottom. It's a very interesting deck he's got there. I would love it if Gwent up would remember the cards I saw. Because I really don't feel like writing them down. He needs 13 points in a play here. Could be enough. That is enough. And that's not an Eskal. You no can weather him back. Now he needs to play 10 points, which should be fairly easy, but... It's time. One more of these, so he just drew it. Perfect! That's a very bad card to get, isn't it? Get scary over 10... Thankfully, carryover doesn't actually matter here, because he did win this round. Unless he decides to push for 2-0, but that seems unlikely. Okay, we've got some great cards in our hand. Perfect. I will put Saltkirk at the top. What do you need me to do? And we'll be very happy with that. Question is, do we toss something like a Morvud? Hmm. Blue Dream is the only better card. We don't have an active play, however. 
That's unfortunate. I will toss a bio. Actually, I will toss more food, sorry. Okay, well, I guess this settles it. We're gonna be taking one of those. And we'll be taking that one. Appearances can be deceived. We could just fill up his whole board with weather. We could weather clear, or we could just let all of these die. Quite the mean task. Yes. Lovely! We put that back in, and then we can put bad cards back into his deck like that. In case of a DJ, in case of a Vilgefort, that's a very great draw. Honestly. Too long have we tolerated weak, sniffling emperors. Onward, sons That's a strong Nesta. card. That, not so much. So we could play Fog into Midro. I think I will do that. The time of the white frost and white light is now. I think our blue dream wants to go on the sage. I do think so. He's got single row weather clear, but of course. I think that's a great escal target. We can just take it. Hopefully Roach doesn't go front row. Thank you very much, Roach. I think we weather cleared here and we actually go up points because of it. Vilgefortz was damaged. We're gaining points. Uh, Scorch Ashiru would be annoying, but we're still okay as we are currently. Do we have anything we can play with that? No, I don't believe we do. That's a 10. Hmm. Would he have not done better by weakening this by 6? Either way, I think we take it and kill the Burna with the Sigurdifa now, at this point. What do you need? Let us put the Burna or the Tribute? I'll kill the Burna. Gives us the option of resing it. I will do it here. I do believe it's a strong enough play. I'll play it front row. Golden weather would suck, but I think he would have used it. He has no other bronze weather clear or weather clear in general. And we're quite happy. It is how I punish those who irritate. A Margarita here would be somewhat annoying. But I think we're looking quite strong. These dogs have no honor. Yeah, 45 points ahead. And that's a win. Let's see, so we're gonna toss that. Toss this. Wow. Okay, I'm... Mm, I'm tempted to toss more wood. Okay. So we've got this 11 that we can strengthen up to 13, 15, 17. And then a Sigurd Rifa is a 20 buffed by five that's a 25 point finisher i do like the odds of that happening what do you need me to do get this into our hand we can bleed him here now we might go down a card in this Around because we are playing 11, 11, 11, 11, and if he's got an Eskal or any kind of way of killing this, then we're not in the perfect position. But if we get into round three, even down cards, we probably just win because of this combo. I'll open with the 11, then pass. I will You've play the Art Spore. Let you through elsewhere. 
I could have played Art Spore first. No but I think this is fair. We have uh, an ability to kill that, that is fine. We don't have to. We can simply Radovid it. Or we can simply have Armor tank it. Which is great. Could Eskel that? Could Ida that? I'll play this. So what? Should I pound it into a poker? We might play weather. We we do need to play some amount of points just so we don't fall too far behind. So I am very much thinking of just playing my Frosty Boy, my Karanter here. Hmm, it's interesting. I think Frosty Boy comes out, or Radovid should have most likely come out last turn. Yeah, I'm okay playing Radovid here. It's locking two engines. The good of the Empire, that is what matters. This thing, what do we do with this thing? We could lock it. To the dungeon with him. I lock this because this isn't actually gaining points per turn. It's just hitting armor. So I don't really care about it. Yeah, so we just... Instead of dealing 4 damage, we gain a 9 point card. We could have saved the red of it for later. I think this is fair. If he's got an unlock, then... Hmm. Wait a second, but this lost the spying tag. Which means we could have read of it much later. After it gets stronger. Now, the problem is this would also get stronger. Hmm. It's interesting. We're currently 28 points up. That's a massive tempo lead. He's gonna have a hard time catching up in two. Hmm. Weather clear, I think unnecessary. I think I'll play my Uncrate Blacksmith and then pass. Then we're looking quite solid, honestly. Still have some power for the round three. That doesn't end immediately. But maybe I'd rather take it into as short of a round 3 as possible. Now, I'm very afraid of... Kind of... Losing the card advantage that I've managed the game because of the Red of it versus False City. That's not even Fake City anymore. Versus False City play? On the other hand, I, I don't know. The shorter the round, the better the Sigurd Rifa combo becomes. So maybe we just play Karantir, and if he plays second weather, then we finally play Ida. Onward! Strengthen the scout. There is no escape. Definitely don't want to play this round forever. Maybe three more turns. Maybe we play the Blacksmith and the Eskel, and then that's it. Maybe we play this as well. So good. I think this is the point where we play Ida. Weather clear. The time of the white frost and white light. Yennefer does end up doing one damage here, but that's that's okay. We're also setting up for our blue dreams to not be uh, too bad. As if we don't really have much choice, we can't can't go for an amazing blue dream. But as is currently, I think we're okay. He's using this now. Unlikely for him to play, say, Scorch for 13 points. Uh, I think he would rather play ADC, Last Wish, almost everything. Pride is all we've left. 
will see it. That's a pretty good blue dream target, honestly. And yes, he did play last wish with uh, Philavandril. We shall see what the future holds. Okay, I don't really mind. He might have put Blue Dream at the bottom of my deck. I, as I said, I don't really mind. We're currently actually creating more points than he is per turn, and he still needs to play 24 to catch up here. It won't happen, and this, I think, is where we pass. Unless he plays a big bronze unit, say an 11, or something along that time. Do we play Volgaforts? It's not the worst play ever. But it's also a very potent play. Now, we don't have a small card to use it on. We, I could play it on Artspore. Get the random 4 damage. I think I'd rather probably play it on Ida. That's quite strong, honestly. It's, it's very scary to go into round 3 here. I think I'll play this. An interesting choice. That is fair. And I think at this point we can pass. This will start doing damage. Again, unless he plays an Eskel target, I'll pass. I said that last turn and then I still played Velgaforts. But this is fair. Interesting card. I would assume not a Marvood. He would have done it earlier. What could he be doing to target this? Okay. Yeah, mo definitely passing here. So Yennefer does deal one damage here. But he takes two back. So he needs to still play 13 points. 14 points actually because of Artspore. So a gold would do it, and that's a lot of golds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven golds. Played so far. It's quite a lot of golds. Or, sorry, six of them because Avalok the Sage created Sartesius from my deck. Still, That's still six golds. Not bad. Hasn't played... He's played one bronze, and I was Elven Scout. Hmm. It's a good deck he's got. Eve, on the other hand, played five bronzes. Which should be found. Honestly, we should be fine with that. I guess Mahakamel from Vesemir. Don't really count that as a bronze, but it's fair. That is 12. That is not good enough. Amazing. We actually go up a card into round three. So our last play is completely untouchable. Even with a Shoop draw card. This does end up doing 3 damage now, so... He dead. Oh my god, 1 point was not good enough. So we've got the Roach we can toss back. Oh my god, we could actually strengthen the Roach. Unlucky draws. Definitely want to play this round out. Hoping to find an Eskal target would be lovely. We could strengthen this or we can strengthen Roach that we put back with Asir. It is four additional points for free. Technically. That is an Eskal target. I'll take it. Just so Roach goes out. No problem. We have to make sure it, it's not the Vilgaforce that's pulling the Roach. really annoying. Didn't get the strengthens out. Okay, at least we get the Sigurd default out. There's been a mistake. 
I'm no mage. Oh, and those are bronzes. Mm, and shitty silvers. So I'm happy with that. Shall we weather clear? I think I'd like to wait on the weather clear. Salt Kirk on top is really strong though. I I can't say no to Salt Kirk on top. We will play the 7 in front row just to gain some armor value here. And if he continues to, you know, play any other weather, we can either weather clear. Been chosen. The gods oh, speak I, mm, I say that and then I play at mid row. Hmm. 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 It's quite intris intriguing. Maybe I'm just a Dumbo. But that's okay. We're playing 11 points. He's gaining 2 per turn, which is pretty good for him. But we should be able to gain some tempo at some point. Maybe even by playing Vilga Force into Salt Kirk. But, uh,. I'd much rather not do that, if I can afford to not do it. It's a strong one. Not the end of the world though. Uh, play slightly around Melina, so the armor's on the sides. Not Melina, Melaine, sorry. It's a slow tempo play that he can get away with. And that's fine. Currently we've got Blue Dream on Heim, which is strong. The Come on, if we down. kill Heim. So we might red of it and then Blue Dream. Uh, Ox is probably the worst silver he's got in his deck for us to get. I would love to draw into Sigurd Rifa, so maybe we... Like, this drawing into Sig would be quite good. Uh, that's unfortunate. I think we're going into round 3 down a card. I think it's fair. Okay. I don't think I'll continue playing here. Seems to be a uh, exercise in futility. He has Ox still, which is a 7 point play. So, I'm quite okay with this, honestly. We've enabled our blue dreams. Which is one of the things we wanted to do. We've got a very strong hand here. This puts Roach back in. Again, very, very good. If we do find Sigurd Rifa, then... We just win the game. While yes, we're down a card, we did make our round 3 much, much stronger. We have the Salt Kirk. Now, technically, we could have done... Um, we could have played this as a 15 this turn instead of a 10 plus 5 carryover. But I think 10 plus 5 carryover plus another 4 carryover potentially is, is quite a good, you know, play, if you will. I will open with this. And I will put this 9 back into his deck. Or do we put the 10 back into his deck? If he's got something like Shani, who'd love to play this. Not so much this. So I'll put that back into his deck. But this makes DJ better. I'll, I'll simply toss a bad card back into his deck. I feel that DJ and Vilgefortz are more likely than a Shani. We have not seen what his deck consists of. We could have also blue dreamed this and then blue dream the nfr later on honestly blue dreaming woodland that might be very strong here simply because of the fact that it gives us a one to vilga forts our second blue dream might be heim not bad or it might be 
Mm. Whatever else he plays next. Oh, that's unfortunate. You mistake stars reflected in a pond for the night sky. I really should stop doing that. Because okay, I'll just draw it out next time. Uh, so we drew Pirate instead of a Sigurdrifa, which would be the 11 point target. Pirate plus 6 damage plus 3 points of Sig, but that's okay. Now I'll play Fog. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. We should have actually Vilgeforced in the middle, but I guess a 9 and a 7 are the same on the sides. He hasn't played a dwarf yet. Not sure what I'm keeping this for. Maybe locking something like this here. A pint of just one morsel. It is how I punish those who irritate me. Now he does know I've got rid of it, but he also has an unlock with ox. I guess technically he can unlock unlock this. Now, how did that incantation go? Hmm. These dogs have no honor. Hmm. I guess we missed some fog damage with the salt kirk. We could have played this into back row for the armor value. Uh, I'm thinking of blue dreaming the ale. That's a Vilgefort. And does he draw the nine? Did I nope. scare you? Tosses away his ox. Okay. 